Do you like adventure, comedy, and dime store detective novels? Then boy, have we got the game for you. Join Voodoo Detective in a hand-drawn point-and-click noir where you'll, where you'll pit your wits and hoodoo know-how against a sinister evil that's taken root on beautiful Zowanga Isle. Uh, release date March, or excuse me, May 24th, so it came out five or four days ago. Jesus, I can do math. Developed and published by Short Sleeve Studio. It is $14.99 on Steam. Let's go. Don't call it short, call it average. It will make it less self-conscious. <laughs> yeah, it's an average length game. Trust me. It, no, the game felt good. It felt good. It's, it, no, the game was average. Above average, above average. <laughs> Uh, all right. Regarding voodoo, while our game draws heavy inspiration from voodoo tradition and culture, we diverge drastically from the reality of what is a rich and active religion. Where we borrow, we seek to do so respectfully, but the game is ultimately a work of pure and wonderful fiction. Okay. <laughs> Power saving? <laughs> fucking, I don't know what fuck that means. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it a mobile game? Is that why? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, enter your name here. Okay. Um. Pop, uh, uh, how about, how about Papa Raven? Like, so I want to like a voodoo-y sounding name, like Papa Midnight or Papa Shango. Ah, oh, there you go. How about, yeah, that, that sounds good. Let's do <laughs> Papa Ligma. That sounds fine. Sure, why not? Whatever. <laughs> it's only a save file name. I should describe myself. Okay. Oh shit, okay. All right, hold on one second here. Let me get comfortable. Oh, couches. I can sit cross-legged and play video games. Oh yeah. Ah, nice. Okie dokie. Here we go. So am I tough, sensitive, or shrewd? I want to say shrewd. I'm a savvy voodoo sleuth. What am I looking for? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't need to put out a personal ad. <sighs> Why did I let my brother talk me into moving here? This town needs saving, he said. Restless spirits, he said. This town needs an enema. Oh, well, I can't blame them. With all the damn tourists here, I feel pretty restless myself. This town's got all the charm of a burning outhouse. Ha <laughs> uh, just my luck. I better poke around for something to help me put this fire out. Uh Wait, Papa Legba? So there there's a Papa Legba and I'm Papa Ligma. That's weird. Whoa, that's hot. Okay. Here, gr grab the fan. It's my number one fan. Ah. Oh, single tab use, uh, drag and drop to combine, press and hold to examine. Okay. I see a radio, a window. It's my number one fan. Wait, hold on. It's my no, number one thing. fan. Okay. I was just checking right click and left click to see if it did anything. There's got to be something in my office I can use to douse this overblown candle.
Window. This town has all the charm nope. of okay. a burning outhouse. I don't have anything in my inventory. I like having books in my office for some light reading. Wow, I'm really calm. Homer, Aeschylus, that my, my fucking office is up there. I'm, I'm really Linus. calm here. Just kidding. They're mostly spy novels. This radio may be old, but the speaker's got a powerful magnet. When I listen, so do the neighbors. can't leave while my office is on fire. Okay. It's a mask representing Baron Samdi, a voodoo demigod. He's the lord of the underworld and one of the most powerful Loa. I like to keep him close. I find it comforting somehow. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. It's a mask representing Papa Legba. A voodoo demigod. He's one of the most powerful Loa and arbiter between humanity and the spirit realm. There's a hidden switch behind the mask. Okay. My seltzer bottle. That fire's about to have a toe tag and a ticket to the big adios. I mean, everybody has a... Oh, that's why it was... Okay, I get it. That's why it was floating, because it's the name of the studio. That's better. All right. So, like, you look around... Hold, hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> the first thing is, like, there's a fire. What do you look for? A fire extinguisher? Water? Maybe the fan to blow it out like a candle, right? Like the fan that's, that they present you with. Nah, 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 nah. This is a point and click game, dick face. There's a hidden switch behind one of the voodoo masks. What? Duh! Voodoo detective speaking. How may I help you? Yes, that's my real name. No, I don't detect voodoo. I practice voodoo and use hoodoo to detect. It's right on the sign. No problem. Take care. I want to see what the skull's flashing for. One new message. Oh my god. Message one. <laughs> my fucking ass hey, machine. It's Ronnie. Good Your lord. I still haven't received this month's rent from you. You're new in town, so I'm cutting you some slack. But if I have to call you again, I'm not going to be as friendly. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. Right. End of message. I don't know. I think Tex Murphy did it better with the fax machine. You have a fax? If you're from the fire brigade... You're a little late. Are you Voodoo Detective? That's my name, unless they changed it while I wasn't looking. What's this about, Miss...? If you don't mind, I'd like to save the introductions for later, Mr. Detective. I have a rather strange case that may be well suited to a man of your talents. That is, if you do do Voodoo. Oh, you do God. do Voodoo. Don't you? Ah. You don't do voodoo, ma'am. Why don't you come in and sit down? And no. Show some respect. You practice voodoo. You do hoodoo. Hoodoo? Do what? Remind me of the babe. Now, suppose you tell me about it from the very beginning. I need your help, detective. I need you to... Find out who I am. A 
Hey, this is Tom Waits. I'd like to welcome you out to the Silver Cloud Lounge. <clears throat> what do you mean, find out who I am? If you're looking for a shrink, that's not really the kind of soul searching I do. I do shrink heads, though. I mean, I've lost my memory. You may not understand, but it's rather precious to me, and I'd like it recovered. All right. What do you remember? What have you found out? Why not? You know what? I better move to the other side. If, if the choices are going to keep popping up, but right there, I better move to this side. I like to be on the, uh, the other side because uh, the Steam achievements pop up behind me, but whatever. All right. What do you remember? What have you found out? Yeah, what do you remember? How about that? Let's you start lost the beginning. your memory, huh? Did you check the couch cushions? Boom! Nice joke, dude. Is this some kind of joke to you? No, but that was. Take it easy, lady. You haven't given me much to work with. Is there anything you do remember? What are you doing? Just a little examination. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is going to sound strange. I don't know if you'll believe me. Lady, I practice hoodoo, so... It doesn't matter what I believe. You go on with your story. I believe a lot of stuff. Well, the very first thing I remember was standing at a crossroads. Oh, shit, you make a deal with a demon. I'm not sure uh... where, but it felt somehow both familiar and foreign at the same time. Like the memory of a dream. There was an old man there. He spoke to me. I believe this belongs to you. I was confused. I couldn't remember ever having seen the pendant before. In fact, I couldn't remember anything. He seemed to understand. Don't worry, child. A little sleep and you'll be back to your old self again. My head started to swim and I blacked out. What, is that like a when I woke like I was Louisiana Cajun patois? in a life I didn't recognize around my neck was the pendant from my dream and in my hand your business card I never printed any business cards you mind if I take a look by all means hmm well that's not normal <laughs> What have you found out? So you don't have any idea who you might be? I've learned, or at least I've been told, that my name is Mary Fontoul. My husband, Victor Fontoul, is the president of Island Ventures. We live in a mansion outside of town with our butler, Benny. We've been married for 10 years, and we're very happy together. And you don't believe a word of it? I may have lost my memory, detective, but I haven't lost my intuition. This woman I'm supposed to be, Mary Fontoul, it's not me. And what if you're wrong? Then you'll have made a bit of money, and I'll walk away a confused rich woman. Yeah, the... the... Cajun comes from uh, the because Louisiana was a was a French colony, um, and yeah, they've been butchering French the French language for like for three hundred years. Eh, I I like a good cage. I love a Cajun accent. Like I, it's it was probably fake, but. I, I love, like, that's one of the reasons why Gambit became my favorite, like, X-Men after watching the cartoon. I was like, I love the way this guy talks. It's so cool. It's so cool. And I try to talk like it, and, and it comes out real bad. But I, I love, like, how, how he, how, the way he talked, the way he, you know, acted and stuff. It's great. All right, why not see a doctor? Why not see a doctor? Why come to me? Believe me, I've seen all the best doctors money can buy. 
The popular opinion is that it's stress. Well, I'm not one to knock the other guy's merchandise, but you could have saved some time coming here first. You said the old man gave you a pendant. Do you have it with you? Yes, here. If it helps the investigation, please keep it. The investigation? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need more information before I agree to take the case. Okay. Okay. Let's say I am interested. Do you remember how to use a checkbook? Does anyone? What the fuck year is this? Two hundred dollar advance and another two hundred on completion. Plus okay. Expenses. So this is way back in time. Money is not an issue. Can you help me out, or do I need to find someone else? The year is noir, right? So what would you put? We got we got this kind of radio. We got this kind of phone. Are we putting it at like? I don't know, 30s? Is 30s like close? $200 though. Like $400 for a job? That's a lot of money if it's the 30s, right? It's like thousands of bucks. I'll take the case. Well, all right, sweetheart. For that kind of cabbage. I'd voodoo investigate most anything. Consider me hired. I have a feeling this guy's gonna use voodoo like the like the Smurfs use the word Smurf to me. Here's the money. I have a good feeling about you. Save your feelings for book club, honey. You know, you better keep that shirt button, Detective. I wouldn't want your big old heart falling out. I'll be careful, Voodoo doll face. How See, he is! Look at that Voodoo doll, doll face! Doll Come face. on, dude. If you need me, I'm staying at the Chic Shell Hotel. Please come see me if you make any progress. Oh, and Detective. Yes? Don't call me Voodoo doll face. What a knockout. A dame like that could give a zombie a heart attack. Or a voodoo <laughs> detective a real headache. I'd better mail my personal ad and then go get my book of voodoo back from Billy. So if my if my legal name, like his his legal name is Voodoo Detective, right? I would make people call me Mr. Dick. Like that's that would be like how I would introduce myself. That's I would correct people. <laughs> Don't worry, they already call you that. Yeah, but in a bad way, though, Scott. Why did I... I can barely see my desk under all these bills. Nice desk, though. Um... Oh, I guess the candle. Oh, I took the candle. Oh, good. Okay. Can I not take the sage or whatever that is? I'm assuming it's sage. Oh, I can click on myself. I better grab Grammy's book from Billy's. I like having books in my office for some light reading. Homer, Aeschylus, yep. Yep. Euripides. I can't skip. Oh, I, I can skip. Oh, yeah! Double click, fast move. Woo! -wee! I love it. Thank you, game. Just grab my coat before I go. Okay. It's a voodoo run. It's Mr. Dick. If you forget it, just imagine a penis wearing a cat fed suit on the shaft and a fedora on the. <laughs> Here we are in Kingston Town. We like to walk around. Sorry. Uh, 
I'm not talking to any tourists. Okay. Oh, Billy's. There we go. Is voodoo like okay? I'm not. I don't know the origins of the voodoo. I, I get. I'm religion. I, I thought. Is it American? Is voodoo like an American religion, or did it come? I thought it came from the islands. Some some like Caribbean islands, right? It's from Haiti. Okay. 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 I'd rather talk to a loaded gun. <laughs> Good call. She looks like a Karen. Let's talk to Ricky Tinsel. Well, <coughs> if isn't New Ganine's newest detective. What can I do for you, VD? Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even think about his initials. That's terrible. Please don't call me VD. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> uh, did it, did it, uh, like, the origins of it were Africa, then to Haiti? Africa, Haiti, Louisiana. Well, as far as Gabriel Knight, okay. Voodoo and popular culture comprises a very representation of practices associated with different forms of voodoo, including Haitian voodoo and Louisiana voodoo and other elements. Okay. Mm. Uh, syncretic religion, parts from Africa, parts from Catholicism. Yeah, I, I thought voodoo was kind of like um, um, Santeria, right? It's like pieces of different uh, religions and, and belief systems. Alright. Should I get a drink? Let's get a drink. <sighs> it's been a hell of a day, Ricky. Give me a voodoo fizz and make it kick like a mule with hay fever on Mardi Gras. You got it. On the house. A voodoo fizz. Oh, look at that. It's got a Down skull. Beautiful. <sighs> Delicious. What do you think of all these tourists? I hate them! Well, you know I really can't complain. They bring good business to the bar. Where did they all come from? Our quiet little island's become a bit of a hot spot ever since Island Ventures moved in. They set out to commoditize the island experience for package and sale. First it was Island Kitchen, then Island Trader, and now Island Coffee. Sometimes I don't even recognize this town anymore. I don't think they'll stop until this island is just one long line of sweaty tourists shuffling from one island franchise to another. But I can't complain. Like I said, business is good. Voice acting in this has been stellar so far. What was Zawanga like before they showed up? Well, there were a lot fewer Hawaiian shirts and a heck of a lot more character. The main drag used to be a colorful collection of cozy shops and local flavor. Now it's just a tidy row of island brand imitation. They turned a rum on the rocks into a virgin pina colada. Even started tearing down old monuments. The most recent victim was a home for where island cough is going up. Now people practicing voodoo like you and your brother don't really have a place to worship. I don't know what the fuck a hoonfo is. That's enough about tours. I like that in point and clicks games, point and click games, you gotta say it. You gotta voice that line when in when in reality you just switch, you just change topics. But <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's enough about that topic. I'm 
working a new case. Mind if I grill you? Go right ahead, Mr. Detective. Mr. Dick, please, call me Mr. Dick. Mr. Detective is my father. Have you seen this pendant before? Oh, vintage. Not really my style, but nice piece. Could be an heirloom. Sorry, I've never seen it before. What can you tell me about Mary Fontoul? Fontoul? I only know of Victor Fontoul. He owns Island Ventures. Thanks for the info, Rick. No problemo. Oh, I didn't retrieve the sausage. I forgot. I forgot. I need the skinny on some of the locals. Of course, VD. Please Didn't stop calling me that! Call me Mr. Dick! Even Mr. Detective is better than that! How is my brother Billy doing? Oh, you know Donut Hole. Still tapping his foot and typing out tunes. I'm sure he's pretty fed up with folks trying to take over his bar, but nothing could shade his shine. He's just his wonderful musical self. Right now he's in one of his trances. Why don't you see if you can bring him around? Thanks for the info, Ricky. Ricky? Any chance I could borrow your mortar and pestle? The tools of my trade? Would I ask you for your gree gree and magnifying glass? Or oh, whatever it is voodoo detectives use to voodoo detect? Well, I guess we could make a trade. What do you have in mind? I'm running dangerously low on mint leaf. I need it for all the goofy drinks those tourists guzzle down. If you can get me more mint, the mortar and pestle are all yours. I've got a split. See you around, Ricky. Okay. You're supposed to pronounce the T in pestle? Yeah, pestle. Mort mortar and pestle. Were you saying pestle? English sucks. And it's, it's weird and stupid, but yes, Pestle. However, if you're going to eat a chocolate bar, the company is Nestle. Not Nestle. Nestle. Wait, altar? Oh, he, oh, there's an altar on the piano. Looks like Billy's got a little offering to Papa Legba here. Eh, <laughs> Papa Legba. Papa Legba. No use trying to talk to Billy while he's in one of his piano trances. There's got to be a way to snap him out of it. I'm, guys, I'm just, I'm, how about, how about bustle? Like, hustle bustle, right? You don't say bustle. I use a different word that's not a proper name. You say bustle, pestle. That's subtle. That's subtle. All words are dumb. No use trying to talk to Billy okay. while he's in one of his piano trances. There's got to be a way to snap him out of it. Yeah, castle. Oh, there we go. We'll take the bucket of water and fucking throw it on his head, I guess? Never know when you might need a bucket of water. That might be a little extreme. Oh, I'm just gonna put it in my inventory, okay. Rise and shine. Fuck. I am gonna do that. Oh, it didn't do I shit. Guess he's still out of it. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't throw that on him. That's the spittoon. Oh, <laughs> Oh, gross. I'll we'll just take my book and get out of here then, huh? That's my grandmother's book of voodoo. We call her Grammy. She was a legendary mambo. I should really ask Billy before I take it. Wait. Mambo? Is that a... Is mambo a term? Like, I thought Mambo was a dance, but is it a term in, uh, it must be a term in, like, I don't know, Louisiana voodoo culture? Kicks out! Thank you for the 17 months! Too, too many more months, Zeke! Well, thank you, Kicks out. Mm. 
Mambo number five. I bet I could find a use for this. Are you fucking kidding me? I took the chair? That's odd. Looks like a metal gauntlet. The sort of medieval knight might wear. I should use that chair first. These things are heavy. That's odd. Right. The sort of medieval knight might wear. I should use that chair first. These things are heavy. Okay. Do I break the fucking chair over him? Like a wrestler, really? This hurts me more than it hurts you, Billy. I do, okay. Nada. Still nothing. All right, time to slap him with the gauntlet, I think. That's odd. Looks like a metal Pick gauntlet. it up! The sort of medieval knife Just pick it the fuck up! Let me skip Could dialogue, please. If you'll excuse the pun. Eh, <laughs> come in handy. I get it, that's great. Good job. What did the five metal fingers say to the face? Yeah! <laughs> Something fell out of the gauntlet. Nice! It's an old harmonica, like the one I used to play with Billy when we were kids. You held on to this for me? After all these years. Fucking Chappelle reference, nice. I'm gonna play it with him. If I want to get through to him, I need to start speaking his language. Yes, play the piano, play the armor. There we go, yep. <laughs> Fuck me, that's good. Just like old times, hearing that harmonica always brings me back. What's new, Voodoo? You mind if I borrow Grammy's book? Help yourself. But I'm surprised you need it. Must be a real tough case. This old book comes in handy more often than you think. Oh, that's a, that's a one. Do you pronounce the T in often? I don't. I say often. I've got a new case. Mind if I pick your brain? Go right ahead. <laughs> Check for signs of head trauma first. Like, uh, by the way, how's that head doing? Still, still pretty good. Have you ever seen this pendant? Sorry, I don't go in for any jewelry foolery. Ricky knows more about that sort of thing. That's a good rhyme. You could ask him for a hot tip while you sip. Oh, that's his. Oh, so that's his thing. He's a he's the rhyme guy. Okay, cool. I know my green screen's showing a little bit. I'm trying to like. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. Like, spread out the the cover on the back of the couch here so it doesn't have that line on it. But. Uh, okay. Have you ever heard the name Mary Fontoul? Has my baby brother got eyes for some lovely lady? It has to do with the case. Sure, Voodoo. Whatever you say. Wait, Fontoul? Yeah, Mary Fontoul. I know a Victor Fontoul. Maybe she's related to him. She's his wife. Going after a married woman, eh? Oh! Oh, I'm just messing with you. Sorry, I never met her. <laughs> Quick turnaround on that one. That's enough shop talk for now. What's happening, Billy? Well, shoot, where to begin? What's with the offering on the piano? Something ain't swinging right in the spirit realm. I can't lock down the beat. It's all out of tune. Rhythm's wrong. I figured a little spirits for the spirits couldn't hurt. So, hold on a second. Billy is Voodoo Detective's brother. So, 
Is his name Billy Detective? How have you been? I'm doing all right, brother, especially since you moved here. Although I wish those Island Ventures vultures wouldn't knock such a steady beat on my door. They keep trying to get their tasteless talons into my business. Already own more than half the town. Oh, well, in every life, a little rain must fall. As long as I have occasion to tickle the old ivories, I'm satisfied. Yep, Billy Dick. Billy Dick and Voodoo Dick. I wanted to ask you about Enough something. about you. Lay it on me. Bye. See you around, Billy. Come back again soon. And don't forget that harmonica of yours. It always brings me back. Oh, spells and recipes. A love hex. Okay. Gather a telegram of sweetness from the yearning lover, a handwritten signature from the lover pursued, and a cord apple uh, in which you can buy them have the apple and serve to both parties. Side effects may include deafness, dumbness, blindness, and excessively grand thoughts. Grammy's flaming hot sauce, bad guano, charcoal, sulfur, combining ingredients in a bowl or a cup. This dynamite sauce goes great with gumbo or jambalaya. Extremely volatile. Oh man, I want some gumbo tonight. Some jambalaya or gumbo. Mm. Nine tenths of the of the Loire. <laughs> Establish a vave. See appendix with a sand or trying to shake, shake an assin over the vave, saluting the four cardinal directions. Warning: You will lose control of your body. Okay. Wow. <laughs> appendix. Nice. See, it is. It's, it, they spelled it Mambo. They didn't spell it Mumbo, you idiots. I knew I saw that right, you fucks. A priestess responsible for organizing rituals and preserving the relationship between her community and the spirits. Ha! Oh, there's the Hunfo. A place of worship where ceremonies are conducted. Every Hunfo has a central pillar representing the connection from the human world to the realm of spirits. Okay. Okay. Wait. Did you know you can skip through dialogue and speed walk by double clicking? Oh, a double click through dialogue. Well, you can. Okay, sweet. Aviva is a religious symbol used to uh, physically represent the Loa. Uh, the law has a different. Each law has a different V. They are frequently used in ceremonies as beacons to the gods they represent. place of worship okay at least until they bulldozed it to make way for island coffee <clears throat> so this is where she stands she's staying at the chic shell hotel That waiter fucking just came back from her break and she is blazed. Look at her fucking eyes, dude. Woman. Whoa, Hello there, man. Handsome. Looking for someone? Not anymore. Boom! <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? I like a little cream in my coffee. Dining alone? Hmm. Why do you ask? Looking for a date? 
Maybe I am. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm expecting company, and my brand of entertainment is best suited for an audience of one. Okay. Are you staying at the hotel? I certainly am. I find it a welcome respite. Domestic life can be so drab. Wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't know. Count your blessings. My name's Voodoo Detective. I'm a voodoo private investigator. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Detective. The name's Kiki. Kiki Lawton. That name sounds familiar, like from a movie or something? Hmm. I was hoping I might run into my client. It wouldn't happen to have seen her. It goes by the name Mary Fontoul. Female, attractive, about 5'5". Five five. Looks like a little lost lamb that forgot the way home. Who did you say you were again? Bo Peep. Well, I do know <laughs> Mary, but she never mentioned a tall drink of water like you. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about her. What do you want to know? Mary's lost her memory. I'm trying to find it. Lost her memory? <laughs> the same thing happens to me around five o'clock every evening. Oh, she, oh, she had drunk. Okay. Uh, the door. Thank you for eight months. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Yeah, Kiki Lawton. I thought it, it's like an old timey movie star name is what I'm like. I thought it was either like a reference to some like you know golden age starlet or something, but I I don't know. I'm I'm could be just making shit up in my mind. Do you know if Mary started spending time with anyone new recently? She hasn't mentioned anyone to me. Yeah, it might be a, a mix of two two names like 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 Kiki Kiki Roberts, Charles Lawton, or something like that. Maybe that's what it, maybe that's what's going on. Anyway, did Mary ever talk about her past? Not once. Mary never volunteered personal information, and I guess I never asked. I'm not one to dig up the past once it's buried. Have you ever seen this pendant before? I can't say that I have. Not very elegant, is it? Why do you ask? Oh, I know. It must be evidence from one of your cases. Is that it? Was it stolen? Or perhaps it was cursed? You did say voodoo detective, right? Oh, <laughs> how delicious. Settle down, Mrs. Lawton. No need to get excited. It's just a necklace. Do you know anyone who would want to harm Mary? Well, her husband is quite wealthy. I'm sure there are plenty of less fortunate islanders who might resent her wealth. You know, eat the rich and all. But I'm speaking in generalities now. These people might feel the same way about anyone with two pennies to rub together. Have you noticed Mary acting strange recently? Mary? God, no. She's as reliable a friend as any I've ever had. Such a good listener. Always quiet, non-judgmental, slowly nodding to let you know she's there for you. And those stony black eyes of hers are so beautiful. Like glazed obsidian. Black eyes? She's just lovely. An absolute doll. A voodoo doll. I've got other questions. I've got other questions. Goodbye. I've got more leads to chase down. Gotta blow. See you around, detective. There you go. 
Can I get you anything? Look at her, dude! She is blazed to the fucking tits! <laughs> I've seen that look on a lady before because I live with that lady. What's on the menu? Well, let's see. We have our macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi bites. There's the steamed miso thai snapper. Our special today is poisson cru, made using deadly fugo fish. For drinks, we have the mighty mango mojito, our marooned martini, and our most popular drink, the voodoo wipeout punch. God, I hate cutesy fucking specialty drink names. How about some grub? Yes, sir. What would you like? I don't, I, like, is this part of the game? I'll take the special. Excellent choice. Bon appetit. Wow, she had it in her fucking, in her jacket? Okay. At least, they, listen, at least they don't waste time. That's food. fine with me. Why, from our kitchen, of course. And you just had it in your coat? They don't call it a dinner jacket for nothing. Oh, they even made a joke about it. That's great. Oh, that hit the spot. You haven't even touched your fugo. Or fugu. How about something to sand down the edges? Certainly. What will it be? I'll have the voodoo punch. How about a Very nice voodoo choice. punch? <laughs> Remember those drink? commercials of Hawaiian punch? Why, from our bar, of course. Anybody? <laughs> and you were just carrying it in your jacket? They don't call it a bar coat for nothing. Oh, double joke. Nice work. How about some grub? Yes, sir. I'll have the mahi mahi bite. Yes, I'm gonna order everything. Excellent choice. Bon appetit. Smells delicious. Oh, that hit the spot. Is it is mahi mahi dolphin or am I thinking of what it what's what's the Hawaiian word for dolphin? Because I know you could eat it at some places. Mahi mahi is is fish. Okay, it's type of fish. How about some grub? Yes, sir. What would you like? Oh, it's dolphin fish. That's where I got my confusion. It's dolphin fish, which is not actual dolphin. Okay. Sorry. I'll have the snapper. Excellent choice. Bon appetit. Smells delicious. Red snapper! Very tasty. Oh. That hit the spot. How about something to sand down the edges? Certainly. What lip? I'll have a martini. Very good choice. Bon appetit. I'm guessing, like... Bottoms up. The fugu fish, like, I take that in my inventory after I'm done eating and drinking and stuff. It becomes an item, a usable item. How about... Certainly. I'll have a mojito. Very good choice. Bon appetit. Thank you. Bottoms up. That might have been one too many. Oh, shit. Ugh. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Two drinks is my limit. Okay. Now we know. So I've... I've... How about some... Yes, sir. Okay, I've sampled everything. I'll take it. How about... Certainly. I've had everything to drink. On... There, okay. 
Actually, I think I'm good. All right. Please let me know if you need anything. Will do. Is that, can I have the puke? Nope, okay. So I can't, the puke is not interactable, but the fugu fish. It's the carcass of the fugu fish, I ordered. Looks like the poison gland's still in there. Don't mind if I do. Yep. So I got the poison gland from the Fugo fish. It's probably a voodoo recipe. I think I've blown enough bread here. <laughs> Literally. Good day, sir. Checking in? I'm looking for a woman staying here named Mary Von Tool. One moment. Uh, yes. We do have a Mary Von Tool staying with us. She checked in the other day. A shorter woman with brown hair and brown eyes. Uh, came here alone, paid cash. She's staying in room 203. I believe she's in there now. Uh, but you need a room key to get upstairs. The Chic Shell Hotel takes our guest privacy very seriously. You're saying I need a room key to visit a guest? Can I just knock? Like I said, we can't let just anyone upstairs. That's why we require a room key to use the elevator. Oh, yeah. The hotel guest is given a spare set to loan out to visitors. Oh! That way it's up to them who's allowed to visit. That's pretty standard, actually. Probably not in the 30s, but like nowadays, you need you need your key card, your hotel key card to use the elevator. Pretty standard. <laughs> let me upstairs. How about if I ask real nice? Yeah. Will you let me upstairs? How about I don't poison you with my fish? I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you upstairs if you're not a guest. Can I get a room? Ordinarily, yes. Fuck! I'm sorry to say we're all booked up. Denied! Is there anything else I can help you with today? Can I call her room? Is that allowed? Yeah. That fish must like these tours about as much as I do. Haha, <laughs> it's puking. <laughs> I'm not talking to any tourists. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Look at Rick Moranis is on fucking vacation here. Look at that. Good day, sir. Going up? Yep. Great. I just need to see your room key before I can take you upstairs. <laughs> Time for a bribe. I don't have a key. Would a couple clams change your tune? Sir, are you trying to bribe me? Yes. You catch on pretty quick. My job is worth more to me than a couple of clams, sir. How about the whole chowder? Everyone has a price. Mm. Not this elevated driver. I'm sorry, but my loyalty is not for sale. All right. I'm just visiting. I don't have a room key. I'm sorry, sir. We require anyone going upstairs to have a room key. You can ask the front desk for more details. Wouldn't fight wouldn't Mary know that? Just Ma call me Internet Angel in the morning angel. Man, I should sing that for the front desk guy. He definitely let me up then. On second thought, I'm afraid of heights. Z, do you think a blind person can find a braille word in your butthole bumps? <laughs> you know, that's a question I don't think I've ever had to ask or had asked. You know what? Maybe Ladyface, maybe she'll give me a key. Hello again, detective. Couldn't keep away, huh? Could I uh, get a, oh no, no, nothing new, huh? I can't get a hotel key? 
I've got. Nope. I've got a. I've got more leads. See you around. Someone cleaned up the vomit, though. That's nice. Ah, the swimming pool. No better way to spend a day at the beach. Maybe someone dropped their key in there. You know, is there a... I wonder if there was a way to highlight, like, some some of these games have high, like, you hold down control, or alt, or space, or something like that, and it highlights all the interactables. But... Stand tours. You know, like I've heard that before. Like I've heard locals from you know all kinds of different places say like they can't stand tourists and shit. And you know what I want to say to people like that? If you live somewhere where tourists like to go, go move somewhere shitty. Move somewhere less appealing if you don't like tourists. Move to fucking North Dakota. Like, then you won't have to deal with tourists. You make moving sound so easy, Zeke. Well, I guarantee you, if you are living in a place that tourists come to, the cost of living is probably more expensive than some place that is shitty. <laughs> like, I live in fucking, I don't know, New York, San Francisco, Seattle. It's like, ah, oh, and all these tourists, I hate them. Like, move to North Dakota. I bet your rent or your mortgage will be half of what you pay, if not less. Just find another job. Yeah, easy, easy as pie, just find another job. Well, you don't think you can find another job? Finding jobs, finding jobs is easy. <laughs> hey, finding jobs is easy. Just like getting late is easy. Just gotta lower your standards. Just gotta lower your standards, man. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll find a key somewhere else. leave this I want to leave this place how do I leave there it is okay so I guess we'll just visit every place now and hope in the hopes of finding Oh shit, this bank is run by Stepford Wives. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Crumpsford Capital. What can I do for you today? I'm a voodoo private investigator. I was hoping to speak with Mr. Crumsford. Sorry, sir. Mr. Crumsford is out at the moment. But 
don't worry. He should be back soon. Okay. I have no reason to give these people my money. God damn it. I'm not gonna give these fucking these fucking people my money. The door is locked. Sorry, sir. Mr. Crumsford is out at the moment. Okay. But don't worry, he should be back soon. It's a bottle of black ink. Take it! I'm sorry, sir, but if you take that ink, other customers won't be able to sign our contracts. Well, we can't have that. Oh, poison pass out. Fugu fish land, your favorite treat. Combine a tasty snack with toxin. From a fu Fugo fish gland. Fugo talks deadly on an empty stomach. So combine your favorite treat with the the Fugo fish. And it will pass somebody out? Make somebody pass out? It's a small, unremarkable pendant made of gold. Mary said it was given to her by an old man in a dream. Oh, poisson means fish. I oh, I didn't know that. Where it came from. Yeah. It's the money Mary gave me. If this candle were black, I could complete Grammy's owner honor recipe. Oh. Too bad I don't have anything to die. Well, with. there you go. I see a white candle when I want it painted black. Yeah! Nice! Beautiful. Return an item to its owner. So black candle, a lodestone, and lemon zest. Grind the ingredients with more and pestle. Apply the resulting paste into the lost item. Okay. Oh, mag a lodestone is a magnet. Okay, so I get it from my radio. Okay. This radio may be old, but the speaker's got a powerful magnet. Right. When I listen, I bet I could get that magnet out if I could find something to jimmy this thing open with. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's my blues harp. Tongs? Can I use the tongs, maybe? <laughs> my first aid kit. Oh, oh God, okay. It's like, wait a minute, why don't you take it? Oh, he's talking about alcohol. Okay. Just a bunch of cheap tourist junk. Okay. This shirt says, Zawanga, sweet Zawanga. I'm not shelling out any cash for that. Oh, shit. It's a camera. A real beauty, too. I can tell you the image quality is truly remarkable. Plus, we developed the photos right here. I'll take it. Great! Thanks for shopping at Island Trader. There's nothing we won't trade for your business. <laughs> Including our dignity, apparently. Suntan lotion. My hat and coat keep me covered. <laughs> I just noticed this fucking bear is like a voodoo bear doll, huh? Oh, candy! Hey, there's the treat I put in the Fugo thing! They put the candy where the kids can see. It's a dirty game. Oh, I don't... Okay. I won't take it. Junk. 
junk. Just come inside, guy! Welcome to Island Trader. Please let me know if I can get anything for you. I'm just gonna look around. Go right ahead, sir. Ah, there's the screwdriver. It's a souvenir screwdriver. There's a tiny inscription on the side. What? What? I went to Zawanga, and all I got was screws. Oh, okay. <laughs> Funny and functional. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Thanks for shopping at Island Trader, where all your trades come true. That magnet. magnet came right out. Beautiful. All right, so uh, I need some lemon zest. Where would a guy get some goddamn lemon zest? If it isn't New Ganine's newest detective. Stop calling me that! For you, VD? Stop that! I need a drink. <sighs> it's been a hell of a day, Ricky. I need a lemony drink. Pour me another one. You got it. On the house. No. No. Let me let me tell you what I want, though. <gasps> oh, the tourist has a lemon in his. Down the hatch. Shit. Delicious. I need the skinny on some of the locals. Okay. Of course, VD. What do you want to know? Have you ever met Kiki Lawton? Is she related to Theodore Lawton? His wife. I see. Well, if she's anything like her husband, I'd steer clear. Some kinds of dirty don't wash off with water. <laughs> no, it'd be like, like if, if my name was, I don't know, Bob James and people called me BJ all the time. I wouldn't like that either. Or HJ. You know, VD stands for venereal disease in case you didn't know. Thanks for the info, Ricky. I've got a split. See you around, Ricky. No, give me that... Give me that goddamn lemon! Want for the mortar and mortar pestle? And pestle. Hmm. Ricky probably uses it to make drinks. I forgot what he wanted for it. Could be useful. Give me some mint and it's mint. all yours. Mint, right? Mint. Okay. away from there okay mr. Lawton uh, if you've come for legal services I'm afraid I can't take on any more clients at the moment actually my name is voodoo detective I'm a voodoo private investigator got some questions I was hoping you could answer pro bono absolutely not I have to finish preparations for an important uh, affair this evening. Can't you see how busy I am? Oh, how perfectly inconsiderate. I ought to hold you in contempt. 
You're just like my wife, Kiki, and her little puppets. Well, I'm not a puppet. I'm a man! <laughs> Have you ever seen this pendant before? This is a law office, not a lost and found. Now please excuse yourself before I'm forced to take legal action. Be seeing you. I certainly hope not. This desk is a little messy, but still, it's a good desk. Are you... He must be like a connoisseur of desks. Okay, so... I put something in the ventilation shaft and it... I bet it passes, like, it knocks him out or something. It's a ventilation shaft. It looks like it runs to the roof. Legal documents and books on law. Law! Island and read those. someone shuffling papers in the office below. Might as well since I'm here, huh? There you go. I managed to get the grill off, but my screwdriver broke. Oh, fuck, okay. Island branch garbage. So I only use it for two things, huh? Sounds good. That's, that's pretty typical point and click stuff. I'm glad they take it out of your inventory if it doesn't, it's not useful anymore. A lot of times they don't do that. It's the camera I bought from Island Looking Trader. at you, fucking Discworld. The shopkeep said he'd develop my photos for free. Hmm. So I need to find out his favorite treat. Find out who gave Mary that pendant. Might be time to crack open Grammy's book. Oh shit. Oh, I went to the. Yeah. The greenhouse is locked. I'll need to find a key. To the estate. Fontoul Estate. Sure, it's big, but is it huge? <laughs> Man, this guy's loaded. He's got a garden and a zoo. Good day, sir. How can I help you? The name is Voodoo Detective. I'm a Voodoo private investigator. Voodoo. This guy looks like the end reveal in a Scooby Doo cartoon. He's like, Old oh, Mr. Chambers! <laughs> yes, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Do, you say? What, may I ask, brings you here? Actually, I'm looking for a Mr. Fontoul. Victor Fontoul. That you? Oh, no, sir. I'm Benny, his butler. This is the Fontoul residence, but I'm afraid Mr. Fontoul is in a meeting at the moment. Perhaps you could come back another time. B -b 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 Benny is the butler. Bam, 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 bam. That's all right. I don't mind waiting inside. Mr. Fontule should be finished presently. <gasps> he used it! 
correctly. Oh my god, he used the word presently instead of momentarily. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's happened so rarely. For those of you who want to know, momentarily means for a moment, presently means in a moment. So if you're going to be there soon, you're going to be there presently. If you're going to be there just for a second, that's when you will be there momentarily. Like, I'm only stopping here momentarily because I gotta get out of here, go somewhere else. Which I have to be at presently. It's a portrait of a fancy man. <laughs> it's a portrait of a fancy man. That is one fancy man. Wasn't it David Letterman in, uh, like, Cabin Boys? Like, ah, you're one of them fancy lads, aren't you? Ah, I hate them fancy lads. You wanna buy a monkey? <laughs> hey, but listen, guys. Here, here's, here's the great thing. Here's the great thing about it. If you all, out there in the world, or actually, I mean, in the English speaking world, if you say it wrong enough times, it becomes correct. So just keep on it. That's how words, that's how fucking English works. You say it wrong enough, it becomes right. So all my grammar, uh, you know, anal retentiveness doesn't mean shit. Power of the masses control how words are said and uh, words are said properly and, and, and used properly. Not just English, that's how language works. Sure, why not? I didn't want to assume other languages don't have fucking rules because they do! You can't pronounce something in Spanish wrong enough times because Spanish has rules about pronouncing things! They're the same every time! like someone's afraid of the dark. Yes, they do. Spanish used to be Latin. Well, if you see, if you see letters in Spanish, right? Letters are always pronounced the same way. Are they not? I, th I thought that was one of the rules of Spanish. Like, I remember, like, I took, like, one year of Spanish in fucking middle school, and that's one of the things I remember. It's like, if you see an N, or, like, if you see a, a J, or a P, or something, it's always pronounced the same way. There's no, like, hard C and soft C, like there is in English. Mr. Fontule should be finished presently. Listen, you old pit viper. I've stuck my neck out for you financing this new factory of yours. All right, all right. Calm yourself, dear boy. No need to get excited. Oh, it's Dirty Rotten well, Scoundrels, guy. It's your fault. <laughs> Quid pro quo, Victor, you slippery worm. I don't like all this cloak and dagger nonsense. Just a little professional discretion, Gordon. We don't want anyone stealing our recipes, do we? Discretion? I don't care a fig for your discretion. I care about what's being done with my money. Me it is, my friend. Did he, just eat a, did did he say he doesn't care a fig and eat a fig? <laughs> for now, please trust that things are progressing on schedule and as planned. <laughs> 
I don't like being left in the dark, Victor. I don't like it at all. You'd better have some answers next time we meet. <sighs> Sir, a voodoo detective is here to see you. A detective? Voodoo detective, Mr. Fartool. I was hoping we could talk. I see. Well, why don't you join me in my office? Uh... We know how to pronounce everything as we read it, and every Spanish will read it exactly the same. That, that's all I'm saying, Kafka. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I know everything changed. Yes, yeah, so how, do, how do I pronounce this doesn't happen to us? Exactly. Except for proper names. Proper names... It's best if you pronounce them in, in the way the person desires them to, to be pronounced, right? Goodyas! Goodyas with the 31s, thank you very much. That's just not true. Different dialects of Spanish will absolutely read this, the same word differently. And Jinja! And Jinja, you shut up! You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, you can just fall back on that, like, um, like, <laughs> you just made that word up. All the words, all words are made up. Yep. <laughs> Language, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, we're gonna put this game away for now. It's great. It's, but it's, it's something that, that I don't think we need to play any more of to get, like, like a handle on what it is. And... It's a game we might like. I might come back to and finish later, you know, because it's a, it seems like a very decent point and click, very well put together, good music, good voice acting, all that shit. And you know, I I like point and click, so 